And I took a little bit out of there with that last swipe. See if I can kind of smooth that out a little bit here. Get that brow out of there. quite a bit off here. I'm not sure. How's that so far? Not bad, a little still need some more adjusting here and there. Now you can put some frown lines across if you want. come along the side to help bring that eyebrow out. some adjustments here and there but I think we're kind of getting the gist of it again when I'm trying to make them as less angry looking angry looking as we can. Kind of almost reminds me of those uh, <laughs> those uh, stone carvings on uh, Easter Island, doesn't it? Kind of just sitting there looking up. Now I might want to, uh, while we're at it, let's go all the way back down to the bottom again. I want to add this into it, kind of that uh, cleft in the chin here, kind of give it that. So that Michael Douglas look. Is that Michael Douglas that's got that cleft chin? And then I want to take, uh, where's my smaller, that's right here, and put this in here. Get that 
in there. And then what I might want to do, clean the nose out just a little bit so I can put the hole, I want to put the nostril holes in there. Again, it's just a, a little need of cleaning up here, getting the um, saw marks out of there. Oh yeah, that's what I want to do. I almost forgot, is I want to put this little dent in there. I almost forgot. Oh, I would have remembered. Even it out. There we go, and there's that little, there's another thing that was bothering me. <sighs> okay, let's give it a look this way. What do you see? Let me look. Yeah, it's not super perfect, but I think it's not bad. I think we got one eyebrow over a little more than the other. Let me get the pencil mark out of there. I wish I had a better piece of wood. But there you have it. Let's see, how about the mouth? Is that... I think I want to open the mouth a little more because he looks like he's too kissy right now. He's a bit too kissy. This is where you need a big knife that has a strong tip. And I think there's no special way of doing this other than just getting carving it out of there. Let's see if a tiny smaller chisel will do better. <sighs> yeah, I'm glad I did that. I'm glad I deepened the hole a little bit here. better. Quite a bit of digging to do. <sighs> yeah, that's better. That isn't too kissy there. And look around. Yeah, this eye is bigger than this eye. and I think I can make some adjustments. Let me round this off a little bit here. I think I might need to bring a little, little more out. I think it's not bad, but... Oops. Is my knuckles in the way? My wrist is in the way?
See, I, sometimes I carve like a, like a rock tumbler when the rock is tumbling and you just tumble all tumbles and that's why I kind of start at one end and go to another and then come back and because it just seems that each one kind of augments the other part of it and then you get the idea it goes this way or it goes that way because a lot of times uh, one piece just you got to have in before you can have the other piece and then you got to come back to the first piece and then you got to start your third piece and I find it a little little better that way I mean it is not as um, what's the word uh, I just like it this way. There's still a lot of lot of cleaning up to do. <sighs> cleaning up, adjustments, this, that, and the other thing. But I think I'm going to stop right here. And what I'm going to do is uh, find a uh, a larger piece of wood square. Where's my ruler? I said, what did I say? This is almost two inches. Almost two. Or just two inches. So I'll try to find like a square two and... Oops, sorry. Maybe two and a half or three, might, if you can. Maybe two and three quarters. And now what, what I'm going to do... There's a plan to do. It's always better to tell you what I did instead of what I'm going to do is uh, find a square piece of wood two, two and three quarters to three and then kind of round it and then bring it up to a cone what you want to do is you want to find the center line you take your uh, square block of wood you go from one corner to well, straight from one corner to, one, to the other corner and then left to right that's where your your center is and then you're gonna round it off so it's a cone and then after you take it, then you take it on the bandsaw. You know, it's like uh, maybe a piece like maybe this big, this long. And then once you get the cone that looks nice, then you take it on the bandsaw, take the cone off. You can if you want to find a scrap piece of wood that's that big. You know, save wood. That's what I do is I get into my saw box where all my saw, sawed off pieces are. But I'm going to stop right here and find that piece of wood and then also find a stick, a nice stick. You can buy, uh, you can either use a, a dowel, a dowel or uh, you, can, you can buy it in squares. In fact, I probably have a real live large bottle rocket stick. I mean, sometimes I do that um, at uh, July 5th or whatever and just happen to see something like that on the ground a lot of times I pick something up and think what can I do with that well, yeah, I think I got one a real bottle rocket stick but anyways find a larger piece of wood make the cone and I'll come back and let's see how I did Turn it off. Profile.